The highlight of uh, this experience for me was just the process each week as we went and uh, uh, practiced songs and were able to bring that into a really polished state for each week's performance. I mean, that was quite an accomplishment for us. Toward the end of our time on the sing-off, we would get together as a group and, and sit down in a circle and in 20 minutes we'd have the foundation for a really good piece and then it was just tweaking and, and uh, you know rearranging from there. But I got really impressed with how our ability to arrange as a group uh, improved over time. Probably my favorite experience since the show has started to air was um, receiving a picture message on my phone from a friend of mine. Um, the picture was of this little boy who I don't know, I've never met him in my life, but for Halloween he dressed up as me. He put on a blue shirt, a yellow tie, and had black glasses on and, and was proudly advertising that he was McKay from Vocal Point. Yeah, as far as my dad's passing uh, goes, I feel like the show was, you know, in some ways a wonderful opportunity to be able to share our beliefs. Um, and so, you know, I, I, like I've kind of mentioned before, I don't know why those things happen or, uh, you know, why my dad would pass away in the middle of this show, but it certainly gave a great forum for us to be able to share a message that I think Vocal Point is centered around, and that's, you know, not only to bring happiness, but also the message of the gospel and how that's central to our personal beliefs. So one of my friends is a convert to the church, and his family wasn't super friendly towards, um, you know, his joining the church and, and what he believes. But since watching the sing-off, um, Vocal Point has become one of their favorite groups and they've become a lot more friendly um, towards the church and, and what we believe. It's been really cool for us to read things online and hear things from people who aren't members of our church that have felt something special with Vocal Point and, and something different that they can't quite understand or, or put their finger on. Um, we know what that is, but it's really cool to know that they're feeling something different when they watch Vocal Point. Looking back, um, I feel really uh, blessed to have been able to be a part of such a wonderful production and such an experience. I remember when we got out, we got backstage and we were doing the uh, post-show interviews and all the cameras were rolling and they had all of the producers there and the choreographers and the music producers and the, the costumers and everyone we had worked with. Uh, for the last two months and and it got really emotional not so much because we had lost anything you know the prize money or anything but um, because the whole experience was just such so incredible and we got to work with so many wonderful people and I think those are people that I'll always remember and experiences that I'll never forget. Vocal Point has already started to receive some amazing opportunities a lot of performance requests and I think that this opportunity on the sing-off is just going to propel the group forward and allow us to reach more people. And that's really ultimately what we want to happen, is to be able to share our message and that, that goal of, of sharing happiness with people um, to more and more folks who, who can listen to Vocal Points. An experience that was really special for me uh, regarding the, the correspondence that we've received back from some of the fans or people that have seen our music, uh, we got a letter from an a cappella group from a different university that one of the members dad's also had a, a disease that uh, resulted in him passing away and I believe that the same day that he passed away or the same day that he they found out that he passed away that night our show aired or our song aired I'll be missing you um, that depicted the same sentiment and so that was just really amazing to me how God moves in a mysterious way and how he uses these kind of experiences not only to bless us but to bless the lives of others and so that was a really special experience for me. It's interesting to to think about the effect and the influence that we may have had on people's opinions of of BYU and the LDS Church. I don't think we'll ever really know what uh, what impact we fully had but to know that we were probably able to impact even if it was just one person and help them see that that we're just people trying to live our lives and, and do that in a happy way is totally worth it. The whole experience, if we were able to help one person, for us, makes the whole thing worth it.